My name is Shelley Kessler. I'm the Secretary Treasurer of the San Mateo Labor Council. And we're very, very pleased that you're here today. Um, this is an opportunity that I'm glad you guys took advantage of by having an open and transparent and engaged conversation rather than having people reading the newspaper the next day that all of a sudden they're losing their jobs. This is an educational forum so that you can hear from people who are professional in the field of pension to be able to lay out some of the issues and give you an opportunity to ask questions. I guess uh, I wanted to start this discussion by talking about how we got here. There's been a lot of talk about pension benefits and the level. When, uh, if you look in the newspaper, everyone's hearing it from the Sacramento Bee, Modesto Bee, and these uh, different uh, newspapers. That's a huge pension cost that are threatening California's and cities and counties. This is a drain on taxpayers. Um, if we don't do something about this, everybody's going to go the way of Vallejo. Um, that's the threat we're hearing. That's uh, what's being promoted. What you're not hearing about is how we really got here. There's nothing in any of these pension benefits that's responsible for any city's bankruptcy. If it is, you ought to go to your city manager and find out how. It's such a small portion of your budget, it's unconscionable to believe that that's responsible for it. But we do have a problem in the pension system. And what we want to talk about today is how we got here. Um, are pensions sustainable? What are the problems with some of the su suggested solutions? What are we doing now uh, from a labor perspective in terms of some of these issues? And what we can do together in the future? And those are the questions we want to kind of run through and, and talk about today. So what really got us here? Is it because the government cut sweetheart deals with uh, the pensions that they couldn't fund? Is it because the public employees are walking away with lavish pensions that are breaking the bank? That's what is being reported. That's what the critics are saying. As a matter of fact, it's the same story across the country for pensions and for local governments. <clears throat> the fact that we're here talking about pensions is the collapse of the market in 2008. And to some extent, the collapse of the tech bubble in 2001. What critics usually fail to mention is the Wall Street excesses, the corporate abuse that caused the same economic crisis we're going through in the state and the housing crisis have caused the same effect on our pensions. That's really why we're here today. What does it mean for retirement plans? Like all forms of investments, pensions took a huge hit in the market. However, unlike most of the investment banks, mortgage uh, companies out there, pension funds didn't go bankrupt and don't need bailouts. As a matter of fact, after this crisis, pension funds turned out to be the most fiscally stable financial institution in this country. Let's talk a little bit about the economic benefits of pensions. Every time you cut a pension benefit, you're taking dollars out of your community. In fact, Approximately $35 billion every year is pumped into our state economy by the retirees spending their pension benefits here in California. Each retiree puts back, on average, $2 for every dollar they receive. In some communities, as much as $7 for every dollar. Uh, overall, retirees generated an economic impact of more than $25 billion in 2006 and created 174,000 jobs by spending that money. Uh, in terms of the efficiency and how um, retirement systems work, um, let's talk a little bit about the gold-plated pensions, I should say. That one of the accusations there is every public employee is retiring. I mean, I heard this from the Whitman campaign. They're retiring at age 50 with 100% of their pay and getting gold-plated retirements. In fact, $25,000 a year is the average retiree pension, below the poverty line. Um, about 1% make over $100,000 a year. Most of those work for you. They're your city managers. They're your highly compensated managers. Um, it's not the rank and file employees. And only 21% get somewhere between $36,000 and $100,000 a year. You know, I get a lot of, well, you're averaging and everybody who retired 30 years ago is making $650 a month. These numbers hold for 2008, 2009. 
the average retirement benefit last year from CalPERS is $36,000 a year. That is for the public agency retiree, your retirees. That's not the state employees and the cops and firefighters. That's your average employee, uh, employees. Why are retirement systems so efficient? It's because predominantly <coughs> investment returns are paying the bulk of the benefit. For every dollar we pay a retiree in a benefit, 25 cents of that comes from the employee and the employer contributions. The other 75% comes, or 75 cents comes from investment returns. There's been a lot of talk about sustainability. There was a quote by the uh, CalPERS chief actuary said at one point in a meeting that's been all over the papers that these systems are not sustainable. In fact, for the last 70 years, they've been a very efficient mechanism for providing pensions. Uh, in fact, it's their efficiency that makes cutting the pensions or changing the formula a really inefficient way to save money. If you think of it in, in terms of it's so efficient that every time you cut, you're only saving a fraction of 25% instead of the full dollar. If I came to you and said in 1980, 30 years from now, you'll be paying 3% less as a percentage of payroll, you'll have increased benefits for the employee, would you sign up for that program? I think you probably would in that context. Um, unfunded status, everybody's <coughs> concerned about the future liabilities and what kind of shape we're in. CalPERS is currently at above 80% funding. <coughs> it's nowhere near some of the dire predictions that we've seen in the past. The uh, Pew Research Center did a report, hasn't been reported as much in California as the Stanford report, but basically citing that there are a lot of problems in a lot of pension systems, but California's funded well above uh, principal standards at 87% and above the 80% benchmark. Let's talk about the sustainability quote. The chief actuary was quoted in one of uh, the presentations at CalPERS as saying uh, this pension system is unsustainable. But what he said was that unless there's a market upturn, it's unsustainable in this down market. And in fact, that upturn has already occurred and they're able to absorb it. It's precisely why CalPERS chose to take the one-year downturn of more than 26% losses and set it aside and fund it separately from the rest of the CalPERS system so that you as local agencies now have a 30-year horizon for funding those losses rather than absorbing them all in your current um, contribution levels. If you did that, you'd be paying a lot more than you are now. Uh, I'd be a lot less happy about it. 